Well, when you score a touchdown on the opening drive for the first time in nearly two years, I figure it's probably chalk talk worthy. And this was the touchdown pass, the first of three for Russell to Jerron Brown uh, after seven and a half minutes. This is the 14th play of this drive. There's 10 runs at this point. There's three passes. So play 14 ends up being a pass play second and goal after you get pushed back uh, via a little penalty, second and goal from the six yard line. And there's a bunch of really cool, once again, little details to these plays as we typically find in these chalk talks. So Seahawks come out in a pretty familiar look for them. They like their little three by one sets. They love three by one. So three receivers, when you hear three by one or two by two, that's just simply how many players on each side. So they come out in a little bunch, three by one set. And right away, number three, there's always these little triggers that he's looking for right away. And when you get down to the red zone, you're still looking at the structure of that secondary. But many times that gets simplified because of that 12th defender back here. There's only so many defenses that, and so many coverages, especially, that you will see groups run. There can be what we call a picket fence, a lot of zone coverage where you'll literally line seven guys up. Uh, you can still see some man coverage, especially in short yardage situations. But on this one, which again is fairly, uh, fairly common, Russell's coming to the line and immediately he sees man-to-man -man coverage on this side and a look that eventually, which you're going to see versus bunch of, uh, an awful lot, is a zone look. So zone to one side of the field and man-to-man -to, -man to this side of the field. You get a further look here because Doug's going to come in motion on this play and they're going to run their nickel back uh, to cover Doug on this. So he's going to come over on this play as well and cover Doug. So that's yet again another sign and this now you start to see these guys communicate and make sure that hey we're still going to stick with our man principles to this side and we're going to run our zone principles to this side. And you'll see a familiar passing concept from the Seahawks here. A little corner with a slant. I know that's not good to run down on the red zone. And Russell doesn't screw around with this side very much. Actually, after the snap, he takes a peek. And once that linebacker widens and David Moore doesn't run real clean, well, this side of the field is immediately taken away. So the Raiders, as I said, stick with their man principles here, and they go zone on this side. And this is where some of the magic is for the Seahawks. So outside, so once the motion comes, again, they're going to square it up. They're going to play outside technique. Linebacker's going to widen out, and these three are going to try to zone off whatever concept's coming to this side of the field. Uh, the Seahawks run what they call a scat protection. Oakland runs a terrible stunt that gets picked up. Um, Dwayne does a nice job on Bruce. So everything's setting up pretty well here, and you get your zone concept. You get a great pocket for Russell, and he gets to, after looking at the man side and realizing windows shrunk too small, I don't win clean, I'm going to get back to my zone beater side, and there's probably three keys here. Number one, Darrell Daniels is out into the route, as is Chris Carson. This is scat protection. This is just five-man protection. If they're to blitz, Chris Carson's going to be a hot flat route on second and goal. They don't. Uh, as I said, they play man to this side, zone to this side, but Chris Carson still has to fly out of there. And he probably gets one of the gold stars because he doesn't mess around. He doesn't know if he's going to get the ball or not, but you got to always act like you're getting the ball. So he runs to the flat, and in so doing, he starts to widen that linebacker off. These guys actually pass this off decently, the safety in the corner. So he gets under the corner. The safety widens out, and Jerron Brown's got a little spot route. So the safety's actually on it, but because of the speed and the effort of Chris Carson, that linebacker also widens. He loses some of his leverage, some of his real estate, and with this kind of pocket and Russell to step into, well, credit Jerron Brown sneaking right on the other side of that linebacker that opens that window of opportunity. Number three to number 18, heads up play, beating zone coverage, not panicking, realizing I got a man concept I get away from, I got a zone concept, and the biggest gold star, I think all game long, goes to these guys right here. Because we watched on Sunday a quarterback in, De in Derek Carr play behind an offensive line that this guy had to play behind the last two years. Three hurries all game, one sack, kind of held the ball on that sack anyway. Winning football, three touchdowns, 125 passing efficiency, and one nice connection to beat an out-leveraged zone coverage by Jerron Brown and Russell Wilson.